Hey, greetings once again from Sparks, Nevada. I'm thinking about this new platform I got, and it's, I've had a very interesting high-speed week. I've got my new platform. I've made partnerships with two new entities, and there's one more that's in the mix that might take a little bit longer, but it's cool. And it's just it's mind-boggling. All this new stuff that's come through, and I'm working with all these different tech things and different regulations and so on. And it's weird because, you know, one time you think, well, I want to do this. And you may think, well, I don't know if there's, there's an awful lot to do this. I don't know if I can handle all of this. And what you find out is when you get into the mix, things just begin to happen. And you follow steps, even though you didn't know what you were going to be doing. And everything just kind of unfolds. It's awesome. And one of the things that I have come up with, it's not a lot of data, more an observation. And I suppose everyone knows that already. <laughs> but the only way you can get anything done is to do it. And I realize it sounds kind of basic. And it is. But if you think about it, everything is that way. And I don't know if it's because we get older and think about things differently or, I don't know, maybe our brain's get lazy and want to talk about doing things. But the bottom line of it is, anything you want to do you just take off, start doing it, and as you go, you learn more, you pick up new things, and each step reveals the next, and you continue, and there's no end. There's certain things you can set up and get what you might call done, where they're workable, but it never really ends. Some things last longer than others, some things work longer than others, and you can, you can leave them alone for a longer period of time, but nothing really is ever finished. Completely. Personal growth, business growth, it doesn't matter. For instance, right now, Apple's got the iPhone, the iPad, the iMac, all these different products. And a lot of them didn't even exist 10, 15 years ago, whatever. And every time there's a new iteration of a computer, it can be new and different things. And this like upgrade improvements, we happen all the time. I guarantee you, within the next 10 years, you're going to see Apple come up with things that you've never seen before. They, they may have been imagined. They may have been in a movie or something, science fiction. But the lines have become so blurred nowadays that any science fiction is just around the corner, right? So that's what, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. You're never going to be totally done. And the things, as you begin to do them, they reveal what you're supposed to do next as you go. And step two, three, four on down the line cannot possibly be revealed until you're at the step before them. Now, sometimes you want to be able to say step five all the way to step seven. But you never can see too, too far ahead. Almost every time if you think you do, you're going to end up going a little bit in the wrong direction after you just go, which is the entire concept I'm talking about. You do not have this plan that you lay out, you do this, you do this, you do this, and everything works out the way you think it will. And I think this is something that's been programmed into us from the time we were in kindergarten. They give you a lecture, they explain things to you, tell you how things are supposed to be. And if you give them the answers that they expect, then you get a pass and grade or a gold star or whatever you get rewards. And I think uh, the longer I go, especially on entrepreneurial things, it's amazing. It's just tragic. That people are taught that way, and it's a downer if, if you're a parent. I, know I didn't, uh, I didn't know how to teach a kid <laughs> back when. And now I do. Now I taught my my garage daughter, and I attempted to explain to her these things that I'm learning. But man, growing up, you just think that the right answers to the questions, and if you know the answers, you get them right, and then everything will be hunky dory. And I'm, it's just following the model gets you fairly far as an employee, as a person who does a job and gets things done. In a certain area, so when it comes to being an entrepreneur and come up with new scenarios, new whatever, everything new all the time, there's just there's no right answer. You can do things that work, but is that right? I don't know. There might be something else that work too. Bottom line of the whole discussion is if there is something that you can think about starting and you wonder if you're ready or you don't have this or that, it doesn't even matter. The whole point of the entrepreneurial exercise is to get into the mix and to see what's coming and the best you go. And until you revert back to that, like, I think that way everybody was born, until you get a firm grip on that and realize the only way to get anything done is to continue on step as it appears, you're stuck. 
you'll spin your wheels. Don't let that happen to you. Right now, take that first step in whatever it is you want to do and get started up today. I'm telling you, every experience right now, just keep hammering home every day. What I'm telling you now, everything will appear as you go and you can adjust. And it's the only way you'll ever get anything done. So start today. That's all I got for right now. I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.